Syracuse University for art. I have a BFA, but I majored in advertising design because there's a very large practical side of me that knew I needed to make a living. Uh, I needed to hit the ground running when I graduated because I was going to owe those student loans. And I wanted to be independent, so I wanted to be self-supporting. So I knew that if I went into commercial art, the likelihood of um, employment would be much higher than fine art. So that's what I did. Oh, I always knew it wasn't my love. I, I, I used to do copy fitting, um, and that was back in the day before computer, so we had to manually um, spec copy. I hated type, and I hated fonts, and I hated photo typesetting, and I just kept telling myself, it's just, it, you have to do this because it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna make you a living. And I always painted on the side. I painted at night or in the morning or, you know, when the kids were sleeping and that sort of thing. So I transitioned into fine art. I started really ramping up the painting and doing that on the, uh, the, the time of day when I wasn't totally busy with the graphic design. So I started doing both. That was a lot of work. I was working a lot of hours. I was at my computer all day, making dinner, running laundry, running out to my studio, which was in the backyard, painting till one, two, three in the morning, getting back up and starting it all over again at seven. And I had a goal, and I knew that I wanted to eventually be able to make enough money with painting that I could let the graphic design go. And that was, um, you know, when I finally did it, it was great. collaging about um, 10 years ago I think now um, it wasn't something that I learned in college it was it was a process that uh, kind of evolved for me personally with what I was trying to achieve in painting and my limitations with painting and um, and trying uh, and trying to loosen up my style I had a really tight style of um, art that uh, was um, technically quite good but when I looked at it, it didn't it didn't make me happy it didn't it didn't excite me it wasn't the kind of I, I used to look at my work and say I would not buy that and and that was sad you know so so in an attempt to loosen up my style I, I started with collage and then I it, it, because I had never been taught this process it was all experimentation uh, evolving and uh, learning as I went along and um, you know, I did some things that, that didn't work, I, and uh, I, I used to frame under glass, I used to use products that build my, the intensity of my colors back, I used to have rippling, bubbly paper, um, you know, I had a, I had a, just, I just, you know, experimented with a lot of different techniques, I learned how not to do things, and I learned how to do things, and I spent 10 years figuring it out to get to the point where I am now. So I share uh, with my students, I, I jokingly say to them sometimes, you know, it took me 10 years to learn this and I'm gonna teach it to you in three days. <laughs> That's the fast track. A lot of students in my class who come to me and say that they wanted to go to college for art but they didn't have the opportunity or um, their parents told them they needed to study something more practical um, or they got married and had children and raised a family my students they they get to a point where they have the time and the resources to do something for themselves and when they think about what do I want to do for myself the idea of art comes back to them maybe from their childhood or an interest uh, you know that, that they that they gained along the way and now that they have the time and the opportunity they, they want to pursue what what makes them happy, what makes them feel you know personally enriched, I guess you would say.
food out on the table and everyone serves themselves and the, that last little tiny piece of chicken, that overcooked smallest piece of chicken, that's the one that's left for you. <laughs> because you spend so much time putting everyone ahead of yourself. And, um, and I think about that and, um, and the sacrifices we make for our family. And then at some point you get to a point in your life where you have time to put yourself first. And it's a strange feeling. It's, a, it's almost a guilty pleasure to be able to spend that time traveling or doing art or, or um, taking that biggest piece of chicken. <laughs>